All right, well, I'm very happy to get the chance to speak with Mike Fisher. He is the executive chief engineer of the new Honda EV hub in Ohio. Mike, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Look forward to the discussion. So what is the EV hub in Ohio? So the EV hub um, is our Gen 1 introduction uh, for Honda, uh, for our EV production. Um, it consists of our Marysville auto plant, our East Liberty auto plant, and engine plant, um, and the LG uh, joint venture battery uh, plant. And that's LG Chem. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And is is this, so this is a huge um, reimagining of what these uh, facilities were to be um, prepared to build EVs. Absolutely. So for, for us, um, it's about a couple of big things. Um, the first one is establishing flexibility in our manufacturing operations from the perspective of uh, establishing um, existing uh, in an existing production facility, the capability to build EV, EV vehicles. Um, and the, the advantage that we have here is that we've studied and we're implementing both ICE, ICE as well as hybrid and EV production in the same manufacturer operations, which ultimately provides a significant advantage for us from a flexibility perspective, as well as price of entry um, from reduced um, investment um, overall from an application of using existing um, existing fi facilities. Uh, from a reimagining, from a manufacturing operations perspective, we really, as a team, went back to zero with this of challenging a lot of the old habits and characteristics of while we have existing ICE and hybrid applications, as we reimagine this, what we're going to do with the BEV EV manufacturing production process, the unique processes, we want to make them human friendly, um, eco friendly. Um, environmentally friendly and overall optimize our quality position uh, for the next level of uh, manufacturing operations in Ohio. So one thing that I'm really curious about is this is going to be Honda's first EV platform of its own. Yes. And so how does this tie into Honda having its very own all Honda EV platform and facility to build it, and partnership with LG Chem for the batteries, how does that play with the GM Honda partnership with things like the Prologue and the ZDX? Yeah, I think the, the Prologue and ZDX were the first opportunity for us to introduce um, the Ohio EV hub um, in partnership with LG and, and all of the other partners from the supply base are really our first opportunity to introduce our first pure EV entry um, into the market. Um, and ultimately, you saw today the EV performance concept vehicle today. We talked about the saloon sedan model um, that both will produ be produced in the Ohio EV hub and more exciting things to come here in the, in the future. But you know, ultimately for us, um, we're going to be introducing really exciting vehicles for our customers um, in the near future. Well, you say exciting vehicles, and it, it, I was impressed with the notion of building internal combustion engine and hybrid cars, those two kind of mix. You can see how those interplay with it. But then EVs on well as that, because that's a fairly fundamentally yeah, different yeah. platform. So how does that work? How do, you, how do you mix those two ingredients together to go down one assembly line? So a lot of people, and there's a lot of companies that say, okay, we're going to build exclusive facilities, and the price of entry of that is significant, right? So. You know, from day one as a project team, one of the things we, we, we tried to realize is, can we really imagine and realize this? Because it's about two things, about creating flexible operation, but it's also about being able to continue to produce in that existing facility products for our customers and today while we're getting ready for it that are needed in the market from the customer's perspective. Um, so from that perspective, that was the starting point for us in realizing that. But if we take a step back and the talking point that we had as a team, when you when you really get down to it, you're still, whether you're talking about an EV vehicle or an ICE or a hybrid vehicle, you're still stamping components. You're still yeah, welding right. body components. You're still painting. You're still assembling. And there's these core components that are different from an EV vehicle, from the structure and the components that we have. We're, you're talking about fuel tanks and engines versus a power unit and a drive unit and, and some of those things. Well, the packaging yeah, of an internal yeah, combustion engine versus an EV is... I, I, Absolutely. So, so 
that was the step back to say, okay, we're not completely blowing up the business model. It's like, can we produce a business, a manufacturing business model that they can coexist in a, in a same facility that we're optimizing our manufacturing operation to create some level of flexibility for that. And I think that's, you know, we're arriving at a landing spot that we really feel we're going to realize and yeah. we're on our way to realizing it. Yeah, I do suppose that EVs still need four wheels absolutely. and, uh, and absolutely. some seats absolutely. and things. Absolutely. It's not all different. Absolutely. Now, the, the other part of flexibility, because, you know, the hot trend of five years ago in terms of manufacturing plants was we can build more than one product line here. It isn't just a large crossover SUV. It's not just a small compact sedan. It can be these multiple. So is this new EV hub also flexible in that space? Can you build different types? Or is this like the same type of vehicle, like just out of, yeah. just out of an argument's sake, let's say they're all Honda pilots, but one's a hybrid, one's an internal combustion, one's an EV. Yeah, I think you know, as, a, as a company, we've always prided ourselves in the flexibility when you're talking about manufacturing operations in general, but fundamentally you set platforms and you know, like Marysville is a funnel, fundamentally a sedan and a mid SUV plan and East Liberty you know, is a Acura and a mid and a large SUV. So there's footprints that you establish, but you know, fundamentally you know, we, we, we will see similar type of flexibility moving forward in the future um, that you optimize based on the characteristic that each plant has. Uh, but in the same breath, are making decisions in your operations for the good of the order um, as you introduce this. Everything we're doing with this Ohio EV hub is for you know our first initial true Honda uh, Honda Acura deployment. But also, it's setting a baseline business manufacturing business model that we can scale, not only for this first generation work across North America um, and globally, but as we think about next generation as well of what scales from the, for example, the IPU assembly or the casting applications that we talked about earlier today um, that can scale in future applications um, as well. Sure. Yeah. And is this the first for Honda globally or is this the first for Honda in North America? Yeah, so um, from, a, from an EV perspective of um, what we're doing for the, uh, the Ohio EV hub is exclusive for Honda right now. Um, here in North, in North America, in North America. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like to talk just a little bit about IPU. That stands for Intelligent Power Unit. Correct. And it incorporates both the power source, the electric motor, and the battery pack. How does it? It's not like that's just one block and then there's an engine sticking out, or is it? Right. Yeah. So so it's basically um, comprised of the the casted um, the power unit case um, from Anna. Um, and then the battery modules are installed and then some of the other components, but in a nutshell, it's your power source, it's your power source um, to drive your drive units, either your single or dual um, drive units um, applica application, similar to what you would expect from a, a, an engine uh, to do. It's your, it's your core power source. But that's just it. See, it seems like you're saying, oh, what we do, we combine the engine and the fuel tank. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's very something mean, from that perspective that uh, that's your power source and then your drive source, um, your drive drive source that you would normally expect is going from your engine to your transmission to your uh, to your wheels um, is going your power is supplied to your drive units and your drive units are doing so very similar type of application just from a different from a gasoline application versus versus a, a, a an electric application. And I presume that the IPU itself is also very modular. There'll be different electric motors, different battery pack sizes, like all of that scales up and down as well with the different yeah, platforms. Yeah. So as we talked about today, the, the power unit for the module or whatever, we're basically, we have a mid uh, mid and a large um, F SUV uh, power, power unit um, application that will be docked with the appropriate um, application uh, from the series development that we launch. So the Ohio EV hub is a campus of sorts. It's a, it's, it's a lot of different facilities. You're talking about engines, motors, and then there's also the partnership with LG Chem yep. battery. Yep. And then there is also final assembly. Yeah. Considering that, I, are you guys trying to vertically integrate? Are you trying to have more and more in-house in this one campus or is there still 
parts coming from Japan, parts coming from other parts of the world? I mean, we're trying to obviously optimize from a, to the price of entry from the perspective of when we talk about the Ohio EV village, it's really uh, four components, the Marysville Auto Plant, East Liberty Auto Plant, and Engine Plant, and then the LG. And then combined, our bigger, the bigger EV hub is our 600 plus suppliers that we have sure. uh, throughout uh, throughout North America that are really, really integral parts of uh of our success that we're, we're having now and uh, with the future with the with the deployment. So, in, in general, why in Ohio? It's ultimately for us the number one. Like I said earlier, is for us to be able to take step one um, into our Honda exclusive uh, positioning and number two uh, to establish the business model for how we scale this um, moving forward towards our 2040 positioning of 100% zero emission vehicle. So fuel cell plus battery electric vehicle application. And this is the first step towards uh, achieving that. And I hear you guys are working on a moon dust powered <laughs> machine as well. And, um, this plant, it's not finished yet. Yeah. So we saw the Acura Performance EV concept. Yeah. There is a production car coming from it. Yeah. Is that production version going to be the first thing built from the EV hub? Correct. That'll okay. be produced at the Marysville, Marysville Auto Plant. Um, so. You know, we're getting uh, Marysville East Liberty and Anna and obviously the LG, uh, the, the battery module plant are all um, in, in line to get ready for Marysville late um, late uh, next year and, uh, and East Liberty Auto Plant early the, the following spring. So it's not like pilots are going to start coming from there next month yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, Mike, thank you so very Absolutely. much for your my, time. My, my pleasure. Thanks really interesting to learn about this. Yeah. All right, Mike Fisher, Executive Chief Engineer for Honda for the Honda EV Hub out of Ohio. A lot of interesting stuff coming.